Hey guys, it's TechRan here. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to enable TMP 2.0 and Secure Boot for your computer. So that way you can actually play Valorant because you need to enable these things to actually play the game. And if you don't, you get that stupid Ooh. error. And so I want to show you guys how to do this quickly as possible. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you need to do is, of course, be on your computer. And what you're going to do is your window icon and want to right click on it and reset your computer. And while your computer is resetting, I would recommend smashing in the delete key in your keyboard because you will need to go into your BIOS. So just keep pressing that in until you get into your BIOS. Now you might have to click like F12 or something like that, some other key bind. So make sure to look up the right one for your motherboard. For me, it's delete, so I'm just gonna spam in it until we get in there. With that though, we're now inside our motherboard BIOS. So once you're in your BIOS, what you want to do first is actually change your BIOS mode to advanced. So you can click F7 or you can click the advanced tab up top. That's what I'm gonna do here. And you want to go into your settings icon in the bottom left. Now, once you're in your settings, you got a few different things you're going to need to do. First of all, we want to go to advanced because we're going to disable the CSM and change this to UFI E. After you select UFI E, you will need to log out your BIOS to save this setting and reset your computer to go back in your BIOS again. But once you enter the BIOS again, the next thing you want to do is go back to your settings icon. You want to go to security and you want to enable secure boots. So you secure boots here. Well, I want to actually say from disable to enable and I recommend changing this to custom and what you can do here is actually exit and reset your computer again once you're back in your BIOS what I want you to do is actually go to settings go to security trusted computing and enable the actual security device support and also changes from TPM to PTT and once we've done that, we just want to exit it and save. We're just going to change that into that and see if everything works. So to make sure Secure Boot and TMP 2.0 is working, I would recommend hopping the Fire Range or TDM and Valorant and walking around for one to two minutes. Usually within one to two minutes, the error will occur where you need to enable it. And if it doesn't occur within that time frame and five minutes to 10 minutes go past, you have successfully enabled Secure Boot and TMP 2.0 on your computer. Now, the steps are slightly different for AMD, but this is for Intel. So if you didn't really find this video helpful, you know what to do. Make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed so you miss some future tech content. Because later here, we're building a PC for $2,500 in a mini ITX build, and we're somehow stuffing a 4090 in it. So yeah, don't want to miss out on that video. Definitely get subscribed. And until then, have a great day. Tech Grant out.